Hey, what's going on team? So we are in our money mindset daily walk. If you missed the last daily walk, check it out. We talked about three reasons why you should make making more money a top priority in your life. So check that out. Today is okay. I'm in. How do I make more money? So three simple tips. One, invest before spending. All right, so that's a very, very key concept. Are you spending money or is that your mindset? I'm spending money or am I investing money? All right, so that can be very, very key. Number two, so just to kind of piggyback off, off, off that, to kind of dive in a little bit more, is investments typically take care of your needs. Spending typically takes care of your wants. I want to go on a all or a big vacation. Okay, that's that's a want. All right, that's not an investment. All right, it could be an investment like you know for an experience, but that's more of a spend. All right, I want a new Ferrari. That is spending. All right, investing would be the complete opposite. They're going to be something that offers a return financially back in. So invest first. Then, with what's left over, spend. I, I went to Long Beach and I talked to a biblical counselor. Actually, he was a biblical counselor, but he was also a biblical business coach. And he had a really great point on this. He said, you have to give yourself permission and know that it's okay to spend money after you've invested. Because I was to come to him and we were talking and um, he's a really high up coach. He's an NCAA referee too, pretty, pretty cool. You know, the people with the stripes calling the shots. But anyway, what he mentioned was, uh, look, if you're investing, and then we're gonna talk about in, in three, you're giving, it doesn't matter what you do with the rest, obviously if, if it's legal and, and ethical. He's like, you know, Jesus does not care uh, we, we, are both, we are both Christ followers. doesn't care what you do with the rest of that abundance, provided you're investing, you're being smart, like the, three t the tale of the three talents in the Bible, and you're giving, all right? So invest before spend. Number two, okay? Invest in yourself before others. I really made a big mistake with this. I put money into rental properties. I put money into uh, 401k, uh, which I'm not saying is bad, neither one of those are bad investments, but just hear me out. I put money into stock market. I, I just give it to the, my stock guy. I had no idea what, it, what he did with it. You know, I get these little statements, they had numbers all over them. But I was doing that first, and then not having any anything left to invest in me. So that means I wasn't learning, I wasn't growing, I wasn't going to seminars, I wasn't learning, okay, like how do you invest in real estate? I just invested in real estate, bought a couple of rental properties. Yeah, that's not, not smart. I should have invested in taking some classes, taking some courses, reading some books. I did read a few books, okay, but I should have invested in myself first before someone else. I had another business coach, um, my boy Lance, he, brought, he, he had a really good point. He said, Jesse, you're doing all this investment in everyone but you. What is the matter with you? And it's like, man, he was right. You know, I literally was giving my Edward Jones guy these checks every month having no idea, completely outside, I have no idea what he was doing, stocks, bonds, mutual funds. So I started to put things back into myself. You probably see it, we're constantly traveling, learning new things, going to seminars, educational. You know, people are like, oh man, it must be nice, you're in Long Beach. Dude, 16 hours of straight seminars. I didn't even get to touch the sand on the beach. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, much less. I didn't even pack a swimsuit. Didn't even pack a swimsuit because that was an investment trip. So invest in yourself. There are so many side hustles out there. Find one you're passionate about, invest in it, work it, and watch what happens. Then the fruits that that has, yeah, absolutely. Put it in real estate if, if, that's, if you wanna learn about real estate. Put it in stocks, mutual funds. Definitely max out your 401k. That's free money, my dad taught me that. Absolutely, but invest in yourself first your passions, your education, your growth before investing in other people. Number three, get around other millionaire givers, all right? 
Get around people who live in abundance. If you if you hang around with broke people, then they're they're gonna bring you down into their broke dumb. And I don't necessarily just mean financial. If you if you're hanging around the the millionaire that's cheating around, running around on his his uh, his wife. Okay, that person is not living in abundance. I promise you that right now. If you're hanging around the person that's constantly, oh man, this stinks and everyone's out to get you and they've got that negative mindset, that is not a person that's living in abundance. For me, my barometer, I wanna be around as many millionaires as I, as I can be that are Christ followers. That's what I'm talking. I'm talking genuine givers. They're building missions because that levels me up. Like we talked about yesterday, man, if I'm around other Christ followers that are having this huge impact with their giving, like, and then there's me and I'm like, well, I, I give, you know, it makes me want to give more, not necessarily to keep up to that uh, with them, but because they're showing me the realm of possibility. So when you get around with that tribe, okay, I call it the macro millionaire tribe. Um, so macro meaning big picture, not, not just financial millionaires, but macro, people with healthy marriages, people with a healthy mentality, people with a healthy mindset, people with a healthy bank account, people with healthy energy, you know, and yeah, all those things are going to ebb and flow, but you know exactly what I'm talking about, the people that are opposite of that. So get around others that live in that macro millionaire mindset and watch what happens. So number one. Invest your money before spending it. Two, and you know, with invest your money before spending it, that can mean like, I'm not a big fan of credit cards, but I know my wife, she put an investment in herself on a credit card to make it happen. So she, you know, she, she, she didn't have no more excuses. She was rock dead broke bottom. Okay, she put an investment in herself on a credit card and she, she just, I would say she 10 x it, but I think if you did the math, she like, a million X did. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes, you, you know, to invest in yourself, you've got to, you've got to get into that, that gray area, you know, of maybe, maybe you, that is it. Maybe you're like, you're, you're at rock bottom and you're like, I need to invest in myself. You're going to put it on a card. Okay. Generally not recommended. Dave Ramsey would never teach that. I, I differ in that standpoint. If it's an investment in yourself and you're going to work it, then do it. So that's number one, invest before spending. Number two, invest in yourself first, then invest in everything else. And number three, get around other macro millionaires. Get around other people who live in the abundant life all around, not necessarily just financial. All right, rock and roll. Hopefully this has motivated you to start living your own macro millionaire life, to level up your marriage, level up your energy, level up your finances, level up your fitness, level up your nutrition, level up your health. Let's go.